what we can't understand in the midst of pain is we serve a God that heals broken things and broken people. And he sent his son down to this earth. And I can only imagine what kind of agony it caused him. But he did that so that later his son could heal broken people. See, God was broken and Jesus was broken so that we don't have to be in the midst of our pain. He can heal our brokenness and he can mend us and he can bring us together so that it doesn't end with tragedy. It ends with triumph. It doesn't end with being able to, with, with hurting. It ends with healing. It doesn't end with, with want. It ends with celebration. And when we know Jesus, all those things are true and we win. And if we were playing in a game right now and we were down by a huge margin, 50 to nothing, in the middle of the game and it's still the fir first quarter, but we knew, we just knew that at the end we were going to have a miraculous comeback. How much confidence will we have? How much excitement will we have knowing that w some point in this game we're winning? But that's what we get in life is Sometimes for some people, it, it, we are down 50 to nothing in the first quarter. And I'm not trying to say that that's easy because there's so much that hurts around us. But when we know Jesus, at some point in our game, we win. At some point, we come back. At some point, our MVP steps up and balls out for us. And we can have that hope. We can have that assurance. We can have that faith. And it doesn't mean it's easy. It doesn't mean that we're not devastated through it. But it means that we can look through our devastation. We can look past it into the hope that Jesus brings to us.